was a defense that did not play too bad, but the offense didn't play well enough. We're talking about last year's Indiana Hoosier team that finished one win shy of bowl eligibility. Five and seven, including losing the season finale against hated rival Purdue. Entering this year, Indiana knows that the ground game needs to show a little bit more of a pulse because last year they were third worst in the Big Ten when it came to running the ball, only 130 yards per game. Look, we know that Indiana, which we'll talk about the passing game later, is known for throwing the ball. But you got to be able to at least show that you can run. And last year, it was a struggle. So we'll see how this offensive line does, which does return three full-time starters, plus some other guys up front who got some starting experience. We'll see if the running game gets a big boost from maybe their number one recruit this past year in Ronnie Walker, a standout from Virginia. So we'll see if Ronnie Walker is an answer to compliment Morgan Ellison, who last year had six touchdowns and a little over 700 yards running. But the running game is a big mystery entering 2018 for Tom Allen's squad. Receiving-wise, it shouldn't be. In fact, they're going to get at least one guy back that barely even played in 2017. That was because of a torn ACL in Nick Westbrook. The speedy Westbrook led the team in receiving just two years ago, finishing just a few yards shy of 1,000 yards receiving. Complimenting him, Walt Fullier, who is not very big. In fact, he's pretty small, but he makes up for it with his quickness and speed. Luke Tillman, last year's leading receiver for the Hoosiers, is back. He had 68 receptions. Now, the quarterback. This is not exactly a lock that it's Peyton Ramsey's job. Now, Ramsey does return with some experience. He got his feet wet last year because of the fact that Richard Lego, no longer there, played 10 of the 12 games. Ramsey, in limited action, did complete 63% of his passes and had 10 touchdown throws along with just five picks. But if he can't get the job done, they're counting on University of Arizona graduate transfer Brandon Dawkins to get the job done. And if you're a Hoosier fan, you'd rather not see one of their better recruits, Michael Penix, play right away. Let him learn a little bit. Penix, a standout from the state of Florida, picked Indiana over Florida State and Penix throughout his high school career at 61 touchdown throws. Not bad. Again, you'd rather see Penix redshirt this upcoming year since you only have Brandon Dawkins for this one year, and because Peyton Ramsey could be a part of your quarterback mix as well. So, Penix, you're hopeful if you're an Indiana fan, you won't have to see him until 2019. Looking at the defense, last year's Hoosier defense made some strides. Even though the team didn't go to a bowl game, I felt like Indiana's D was a big reason why they almost got to a bowl bid. 27th overall in total D last year, giving up just 340 Total yards per game, which was sixth best in the Big Ten. Not bad. That's the good news. But the bad news is they almost have to start from scratch entering this year. Only three starters back on that defense, including just one in the front six. And that's Jacob Robinson, the defensive tackle, who had four sacks a year ago for IU. You got to start over at linebacker as well. As far as your secondary, it will primarily be a 4-2-5 look. You got one cornerback in Andre Brown and a strong safety, Jonathan Crawford with his one pick and 62 tackles from a year ago. But, again, they're going to be very inexperienced on the defensive side of the ball. This is an area that really bears watching this upcoming season. Looking at the schedule, I'm not going to lie to you, Indiana is not going to win the Big Ten East. They're not even going to finish in the top three or four. Big thing, if you're an Indiana fan, get back to a bowl game, which they had done in 2015, 2016, but, of course, missed out last year. For the Hoosiers to make it to the postseason for the third time in the past four years, got to take care of business in that opener on the road against Florida International, who did win eight games last year, but returned only eight total starters, four on each side of the ball. So perhaps a shot, a legitimate shot, at a W for the Hoosiers. The next two games, good shot at wins against Virginia and Ball State. And the other four games I've listed there are games I think they have a realistic shot at winning. Look, games against Ohio State, Michigan, Penn State, Iowa, and Michigan State, forget about it, all losses. But of those other four games that I have on there, as long as Indiana takes care of business against Florida International, they could even afford a loss against Rutgers, Minnesota, Maryland, or Purdue and still make it to a bowl game, but no more than that. My final prediction for Indiana, look, I think offensively they'll be a little bit better, especially on the ground, but too many question marks on the defensive side. i got Indiana not finishing last, but second to last. i got them sixth in the Big Ten East Division. Too many difficult games, 
And again, the defense, I think, is going to be a big enigma. That's my look at Indiana. See you next time.